Hello, I'm Mary with DAV, and I'm talking today with Tori Joyner. Tori is the first woman in DAV's employment to reach 30 years of service as a national service officer. Tori, this is a big deal for you. Uh, you were in the Army, and tell me about how you got started with DAV. How did it all come to be 37 years ago? Well, thank you, Mary. I am so happy to do this interview with you. And yes, as it relates to your question, yes, I was discharged from the Army. And um, at that time, I was not sure what I wanted to do with respect to a career. Um, but I said, let me go to the VA and see what benefits I'm entitled to. And the VA uh, representative said that it would be important for me to go to the, v, to the DAV, which was across the hall at that time, and um, talk to the DAV because they would, they would be the ones to really assist you with um, getting your claim started with respect to what benefits you would be entitled to, et cetera. It's a great organization, you know, go check them out. So I decided to go across the hall and I um, spoke to the supervisor at that time. And he told me all about DAV, um, how it was founded, chartered, what they were all about, how they help veterans, um, what their main mission is. And I thought this was a great um, organization and this is a perfect opportunity for me to um, see if they had any employment at the time. And so the supervisor said, hey, uh, we do have a position open as a, uh, if you want it as a receptionist. And so I definitely took that opportunity. That was February of uh, 90, uh, of 84, I'm sorry, February of 84. And I was so excited. And that's where I began um, my journey with the DAV. So you started out as a receptionist before you became a benefits advocate. Correct. Yes. So how long how long did you do that before you you crossed the bridge uh, to to the position that you're in now? Well, I rose to the top of that position as secretary five, and that was within seven years. Um, my supervisor approached me and said, um, "Would you like to become a national service officer with?" With this with the organization and I said oh my gosh yes this is perfect um, and so at that time that's where my uh, career changed gears I was now um, getting into the, uh, the the realm of becoming a, a national service officer I went through the 16 month of tra uh, months of training at that time it was on the job training um, and uh, once I rehabbed at that point, um, I did my, um, I did 25 years at the regional office as a national service officer. And then I uh, was promoted to the board of veterans appeals at the national service office. Um, and now I'm a national appeals officer. And that's what my current status is right now. How long have you been there? I think approximately 12 years now, and I love it. It's, it's a, um, the position I hold is, is a very important position um, as far as the appellate process. And I, I enjoy arguing and, and of course, uh, presenting the cases before the board. And um, we also do hearings here as well. So over 37 years of being with DAV, how have you seen the organization evolve? And how have you seen women coming out of the military evolve? Well, there's so many things that DAV has been in the forefront um, in ensuring that we as veterans um, are getting the benefits that we deserve. Um, and, and so as it relates to the, the different, um, the difference of when I came in and how DAV has evolved over the years, there's so many things that the DAV has done. As it, re as it relates to the two women specifically, I mean, I was a part of the uh, first women's um, summit uh, and I believe that was back in 
1996, uh, DAV was the first major veterans organization to co-host uh, what we become, what will become a popular reoccurring event that brings veterans from across the country to gather and collaborate on the issues facing women um, issues. So DAV was in the forefront and a part of that. Um, and I believe Joy Elam and I were at that summit. It was very interesting to meet other women and we met women who were pilots at that time. It was just very, very um, informative uh, meeting other uh, veterans. Um, and then in 2000, um, women veterans also, that, that was the second summit that DAV host, which was a part of the uh, continuation of women veterans and their issues, their, you know, and I've seen DAV grow as far as women veterans, as far as employment. Um, there weren't that many women um, in the organization at the time I came in, but as time has gone uh, gone forward and a lot of women now have, uh, that are, are transitioning from uh, the military, um, they, they definitely see that DAV is a, uh, something uh, an, or an organization that um, would be beneficial to them in reference to making sure they ap apply for their benefits and go forward from there. So I've seen that proce uh, process take place um, quite a few times throughout the DAV, throughout my career with the DAV. Um, there's so many women in the organization of different um, ethnic backgrounds uh, that have come into the company. And uh, also the, um, the uh, uh, leadership has also changed. Um, there are a lot of women that are in more leadership with the DAV as well. So that, that is just a snippet of how the DAV has um, progressed and as far as women and other types of, of uh, different things that DAV has done throughout the years. So being the first woman to get that 30, year of, 30 years of service ring, um, plus your years of service in the army. I mean, you've been serving veterans pretty much your entire adult life. Um, how does it feel to be that first woman to get that ring? That's a fantastic question. Um, I don't, I don't even know how to describe the feeling because <clears throat> you're, you're absolutely right. DAV has been a part of my life, uh, pretty much all my adult life, uh, since I've left the military. And one thing the DAV has taught me, and that is to fight and keep fighting and continue to fight for our veterans. And that's the mentality that I've had, uh, that I have. Um, and it's, it's, it, it's outside of my job. I continue to fight and, and make sure that if I run across a veteran, you know, this is what you need to do. And it, it just never leaves you. It's just part of you. Um, and to be the first woman to, to be in this, 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 it, this situation is, it's like a whirlwind. It's like, I, I, I'm not sure what I can say to, to actually tell you how I feel about that. It's, it's a feeling of accomplishment beyond what I would, would have thought when I first became a national ser service officer. Um, this means a lot to me. I've, uh, I've worked very hard um, to achieve this level of um, recognition as far as this ring. Um, I've, you know, it's funny, all the conventions I've gone to, you know, all the men and they get emotional when they accept this ring. And I, I've always felt like, okay, what would that feel like to, to get this ring after 30 years? And so I always, 
anticipated getting the ring, but I did not know I was going to be the first woman to get the ring. So it's like a double feeling of, I, I can't explain it. It's just, it's just overwhelming right now. Well, thank you for your dedicated service all these years. And, and from what we've discussed offline, uh, you're not going anywhere anytime soon, are you? No, I think I'll stick around for a little while. Um, however, I, I am at that point where, you know, I want to see what, uh, what uh, leads me to either stay with the DAV because I love what I do. Mm -hmm. um, so it would be hard for me to leave right, you know, anytime soon. But um, if I were to retire anytime soon, this, I still think this is what I would continue to do. Just reach out to veterans um, and continue to make sure they <clears throat> get in touch with the DAV because DAV is, is the best organization out there. And of course, I will make sure I tell women that come out of service, if they were like myself, didn't have a clue of what to do or really where to go, um, I'm going to definitely be there, uh, out there, and make sure I uh, let women know, hey, the first thing you should do is come to the DAV and file your claim, because you will definitely be represented properly before the VA, and that's important for all veterans to get a good organization, and DAV is the best. Is there anything else that you would like to add? Well, I just want to say that it doesn't feel like it's been 37 years. It just feels like it was yesterday. I am just blessed to be able to have an outstanding career with this, with the DAV. And I will always be grateful. And, and I thank you for uh, this interview. I appreciate it. Well, Tori, thank you so much for leading the way for so many women and for doing so much for veterans over your years. Um, it's been truly a pleasure and we're really looking forward to, to our national convention coming up at the end of July and seeing seeing you get that 30 year ring that you've worked so hard for and, and deserve so fully. So thank you so much for everything you've done uh, for our veterans, for our women, and uh, what you continue to do every day. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you.